There is stunned silence in the French capital in the wake of the attacks. Many of the, those who did venture out over the weekend went to hospitals to donate blood. CCTV's Jack Barton has our story. The streets of Paris were unusually empty on Saturday following a series of violent attacks across the capital. The worst terror attack to strike Europe since the bombing of a Spanish train in 2004. French President Francois Hollande says France is now in a state of war, but the French public are also in a state of shock. The government advised people to stay at home, and the few that ventured out onto the streets, some to lay flowers, found it difficult to absorb the scale of the attacks. It happens uh, very fast, uh, and we, we, we don't know exactly how to deal with those feelings we have. I live very close to here, so having my child so close to this, it was just breaking my heart. Tourists from countries including China were deciding whether to remain. I feel um, I don't have any more the uh, feeling of safe, safe in Paris. Schools, the metro, museums and even the Eiffel Tower remained closed on Saturday. Some businesses opened, but there were few customers. Paris is empty. It's sad. It gives me goosebumps. Everyone's scared. Tears come to my eyes speaking to you. I don't know what to say. It's not acceptable. It's barbaric. I don't know. There are just no words. The largest crowds were outside hospitals, where people queued to donate blood for the hundreds of people injured in the attacks, many of them still in critical condition. France is marking three days of official mourning, but the sorrow will no doubt linger for many years to come. Jack Barton, CCTV, Paris.